Hey Arlington Tonight's Adam Harris here, your head of communications and storytelling. I'm at South Middle School with these five awesome science seventh graders. We got Madison, we got Cadence, we got Tyler, we have Amelia, and we have Dominic. Say hi. Hi. Okay, they got some cars in front of them that they built themselves. Um, I don't know, I think a couple weeks ago they were given a propeller, they were given a uh, rubber band, and they were told, okay, make something that can move four meters. And it also looks kind of cool. Um, Tyler, what were you learning as you started creating this? So we were learning about energy, force, and motion, and which direction to spin the propeller, or and how to get the uh, car to move with an axle and wheels. Energy, force, motion, engineering. Um, if I were you all, I would have been overwhelmed. Were you overwhelmed? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what was the most overwhelming part right when you were given this project? Whoever wants to talk. Um, I think it was like all of the obstacles that came up, getting the thing to actually move. And then like the next thing you know, the race day is tomorrow and your car doesn't work. So then you have to um, quickly fix it so that you can like actually be in the race. Anybody else have struggles? Like what was like the part where you were like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Uh, for me, it was probably uh, like designing it, coming up with the idea was kind of the easiest, but actually making it like come to light was hard, way harder than I thought. Yeah, like you start off with a blank slate, right? Like Madison, you made like a cool Snoopy plane. Like that is so different than what other people made. Um, and then you have to make it work. Madison, did you have any individual struggles like as you were going through it that you had to work through? Um, yeah, so like I brought like my original car home and like I didn't like it. So then I built this in like two hours and it was with like a wheel and axle and it wasn't moving. So then once I got to school, then I put on the propeller and then it started working. But before like the propeller was hitting the ground, so we had to like raise up the wheels so you had to like find a solution as you were like towards the end of building. Like you can design something, Dominic, I like what you said. You can design something that's easy. And then once you start to make it happen, that's where you have to really start being flexible. Yeah. Um, okay, Amelia, tell us about how it felt when you finally got this thing to move. Um, when I finally got my car to move, it was like, it felt really nice to see it move and mine went pretty far the first time 12 meters but as i've like i designed mine as an amazon truck so as i um put on more weight it started to move like less far but it was still satisfying to see it move yeah i mean if it's an amazon truck it's gonna have to carry some weight amelia mm, yeah. um okay um tyler tell us about your struggle and your journey through it and then how you came up to where you got. So mine was I built a car first and I didn't spend enough time on it. So I just went home and threw it right in the garbage. <laughs> Wheels and all. Um, so, and then I got a shoebox and made a brand new car and with axles. And I made one that could go seven meters in race day. Okay, the start over part. I think that's a lot of that. that that's an awesome lesson that a lot of people can learn in general. Like. It probably took a lot for you to go, okay, this is not working. Let's take a step back and let's start over. Um, and I think once people get down the road in any project, I'm sure your parents might deal with this at work. Like they get down the road in a project, it's not working. You just gotta take a step back and start over. What would your advice be anybody here as you hit struggles and projects moving forward for anybody out there or even for yourself? What have you learned about overcoming obstacles and being flexible? Um, it's just best to learn how to accept that you're going to come over obstacles and you might have to go back to the drawing board and just knowing that that's going to be okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, for me, it was basically that the biggest obstacle was yourself. Like, if you get stressed out, then you make more mistakes and stuff like that, but you kind of just, what okay, Caden said, like, take a step back and, like, kind of take a deep breath and, like, just accept that you're not always like the first design isn't necessarily gonna work and that will like help you push through that's where i want to end on this yeah. interview because the biggest obstacle is yourself can we all agree there yeah. yeah yeah okay that's so cool okay thanks for doing this now we just say goodbye
Bye. Bye.